Should you buy a motorcycle battery jump starter pack? Hello, welcome to Revelator Alf. So this video is a direct answer to uh, an email and actually a couple of emails I've got recently from people asking about these battery starter packs or these uh, jump starter packs. And you can get them from all over the place, Amazonia, eBay, whatever. Uh, you can go buy them from specialist uh, suppliers as well. And for Harley Davidson, NoCo is a, a kind of a popular brand right now, but there's there's lots out there. The question is, do you really need it? And I suppose the question I would ask to anybody watching this is, how many times have you ever used this jump starter pack in anger? So for me, you might notice that my bike is on a battery tender, and that just keeps the, the battery topped up all the time. So for me, instead of getting a jump starter pack, I would always have my bike on the tender and then, then I'll be away. So I think that's a better option just to have your battery in good health and then look out for any telltale signs that you might be having a, uh, a battery that's failing and then just get the battery changed. So why would you ever need a jump starter pack? if you've got a battery tender. Well, I'm fortunate that I've got a garage and I can park my bike in the garage and I've got a power supply so I can put it on a battery tender. But let's say you, you can't uh, park it in a garage. Let's say you have to leave it outside. You have to park it on the street. There might be a time where you're, you haven't ridden it in a while and you've got this what they call parasitic draw on the uh, on the battery in other words you've got some elements on the bike that are drawing power then over a period of time your battery can go flat so you may have something like that you just keep on you keep in your house and you just take it out there if the battery is flat just quickly connect it up to the battery terminals and away you go with this uh, jump starter pack. They're very small. They're just a little bit bigger than a smartphone, I suppose. So if you're parking your bike outside on the street and uh, you don't ride that often, yeah, you might have a battery drain issue over a period of time. So yeah, a starter pack might work for you. So what about if you're going on the Grand Tour and you want to take a starter pack with you, sticking in your saddlebags or just for that extra peace of mind? Well, yeah, there's there's no problem in that as well. But as I say, you're battery health in the first place that's the thing that's really going to you know be the best thing to monitor and if you're riding it every day then as long as everything else is working then you shouldn't really have a problem now if you're riding every day but then you're still getting a flat battery then you've either got two issues you've either got an alternator issue or you've got a battery issue itself either way you're going to have to get this seen to uh, at a local garage somewhere or some kind of service center, or you're going to have to cut your trip short and uh, head back home. So in that sense, the starter pack may just get you out of a jam so you can get back home or ride to uh, a service center or a garage or somewhere like that, where they might be able to change your battery or just check your bike over and see if there's anything electrically wrong with it. Now, what you can do is just attach a pigtail uh, to your battery terminals and have an exposed connection point, just like I've got here on my uh, battery tender here on my Harley Davidson there. Uh, and you can have another one for your jump starter pack. Uh, it's exactly the same, really. That would be much better for a battery on a motorcycle that is not very easy to get onto, just like on the Harley Davidson soft tails here. Many of the Japanese sports bikes as well have the battery uh, buried in there as well. So, you know, you'd have to start removing panels left, right and centre. Whereas if you just had a pigtail just hanging out, or what I call a pigtail, uh, then an easy connection point, let's say, then that'd be much better for you. So for me, I wouldn't get a battery jump starter pack because uh, I'm usually doing shorter distances. I'm, I'm riding every day. I don't go on grand tours, let's say. I'm never away from mains power uh, that I can't put the bike on a battery tender overnight so I wouldn't really see it however if my situation were different let's say I was parking it on a street or you know I was having to go on a long tour away from any kind of mains power uh, then I possibly would invest in a jump starter pack right let me know your thoughts on these things uh, but as I say they are they are definitely handy bits of kit to have are they absolutely necessary well as I say it depends on your circumstances but let me know what you think of these jump starter packs and uh, whether it's right for you and I'll catch you again ta-da